Hey guys, we're back. Uh, I thought today we would talk about, arguably, the greatest No Limits 2 panel ever created. Uh, I've had Pinella for about two years now. Two or three years. Can't remember. Uh, this is my third version of uh, a No Limits panel. The other two had fewer buttons. Um, but let's get into it. Let's get into it. So, uh, uh, up here, let's do some button description here. Uh, we, blinking light right here, power on manual mode. Um, we're going to go through the startup sequence first. Let's turn the panel on. Put into automatic. Here we got the lamp test. Uh, I don't know if you can read that. This uh, shows the lamp test here. Uh, and then moving on over to this section. Got the panel on off switch. Uh, the operations mode. Auto manual bypass. Operations type. So what kind of type of coaster you're running. Uh, sit down, floorless, flyer, function enable. So that one just kind of gives you access. I've talked about it, what the function button does in my Bull and Batman uh, videos. Just here I have a, a key switch. Basically just enables me to do other functions with the buttons. Let's go ahead and press, uh, oh down here we got acknowledge. Let's acknowledge that all the lamps are working, of course, because it's maintained by me. Uh, then, next, we have the stop test, of course. We have to test that all the stops are working. Let's go ahead and test that ride stop. Ride stop, all right. Let's test that E stop. Boom, that works. Continue to the next step. Uh, this, this is where you uh, have the option of going into a separate function screen to adjust some of the settings. We're not gonna do that. Uh, then, once you confirm going through that, you acknowledge that the right area is clear, and you just wanna let everyone know nearby the right starting. Once again, we wanna give anyone in the area plenty, ample warning that the ride is starting. But that's not enough, now we have to reset the e-stop. <laughs> it's a little obnoxious, but it's based off of uh, Ride Six Flags as in house. They always have obnoxiously long startup in the sounds. So if you think this is ridiculous, imagine sitting and listening to something like this coming out of a loudspeaker where everyone in a quarter mile can hear it. I remember when they built that thing, one of the security guards always asking me, you know, what's, what's with all these car alarms going off recently? I'm like, no, that's, that's the new ride they're putting up. Jesus Christ. All right, so we're, uh, we're now in control. I'm gonna go ahead and put my operator hat on. Um, so like I said, operations type, that key switch kind of determines uh, what coaster you're running. Cause you know, not all coasters have floors, not all coasters have chassising up. Um, so we're going to have to go put that into type 2, however, you can't change the type while the ride is in, in operation, and that's why we got a trouble light here. A trouble light with an alarm, very serious. We're going to go ahead and restart that here. Silence the alarm, push the button to silence. I'm going to follow my very handy screen here, uh, switch to manual mode, it tells me, get in here. Tells me, oh, we have error 161. Ops types change while active. Acknowledge to continue. Go ahead and acknowledge that. Trouble reset. Press trouble to reset the error. Boom. And we're back. And now we're in operations type number two, which is um, inverted coasters or flawless coaster dive coasters. Um, and so in my old version of my panel, um, I had a, a auto mode working on here, and the way I would do it is you press the left dispatch button to lower the floor, and then you push the right dispatch button to dispatch the train. Uh, I just felt like that wasn't really realistic enough for me. Um, so, stranger locked. Chassis floor. Let's send that down. We're in manual mode, uh, auto mode currently. I haven't written the code. 
Let's dispatch this puppy out of here. Enjoy your ride. Always have to pay attention as the operator. Very important. We're bringing the next train in here. Welcome back. How was your ride? Release the dispatch buttons. Let's bring that floor up. Let's open those restraints. And open up those air gates. Uh, so, kind of talked about it. Over here we got a ride stop. Uh, just like in real life. Stops the ride. Um, and here, I don't have it programmed like Six Flags, where uh, the chief of police has to come to restart a ride. Uh, here, if the operator stops the ride, they can just go ahead start it back up. Right after the issue is resolved, it makes downtimes much less lengthy. Uh, and then we want to hit the east stop. Obviously, that's severe, so the trouble light with alarm is going to go off. Let's silence that. Um, east stop pressed, switch to bypass. Now we're going to reset the ESR loop. Some things are a little bit broken. I haven't really touched this thing in like a year and a half. Oh. Main operator cancel, east stop pressed. Trouble reset. Rides in desired operating mode. Ride start. A neat little feature we have in here. Actually, it won't work. We're into type two, Never mind. But yeah, you know, I just thought I didn't have enough time, uh, I didn't spend enough time operating coasters, so I built myself, arguably, the greatest No Limits 2 panel. And now, just kidding, I can dispatch all day long. And so people ask me, uh, I've done another video about this thing, and people ask me like, oh, can I buy one? And it's like, okay, I could make you one. But this stuff's expensive. I mean, these buttons are like 25, 30 bucks each. I collected all this stuff over the course of four years, building and buying all this stuff. And so it's like, you have to front me a bunch of money to buy all this stuff for you. And then I have to wire it up and program it. And then it's like a month and a half after you gave me the money to buy this thing. And it's like, is it really worth it then? I don't know. Uh, but let's take a look on the inside here. Uh, so I've got two Arduino panel or Arduino things in here. Uh, the reason for that is the Duo can em emulate a keyboard, and the Mega can not. But the Mega runs on five volts, and this runs on three point three, and the lights uh, are very dim when it's at three point three volts. So I know there's other ways I can do it, uh, but why not just have two boards? It looks cooler. Uh, the wiring, I, I understand, a, a bit messy. A bit messy. Over here, we have the buzzer. Uh, that's what the trouble light goes off. Over here, we have a speaker. Uh, I'm eventually going to do some audio messages, spiels, stuff like that. And you see, this, this stuff's pretty simple. And, you know, the way it works is this side is the uh, side that completes the circuit when the button is pressed. So you can wire it up here so that um, you can read that if the button is unpressed and you can put uh, the wiring here to read it when it is pressed and then you just wire up over here to turn the light on. But yeah, pretty neat. Um, some of these buttons don't do anything because I have, I've kind of run out of ideas. You know, I've got another key switch on here. If anyone has a good idea, what I should put on that key switch, uh, please let me know. Please let me know. And uh, so more panel reviews coming soon from Real Rides. And then right here, just like Goliath. No unauthorized operation. Don't even think about it. Goodbye.